Well guys, so this is day two. It's Tuesday. And we're walking again. Aren't we Isaiah? Mm -hmm. And he's dragging his stick, guys. So, anyways, um, today is weigh-in day. So, I'm excited slash nervous to see how much I'm going to weigh and, and to see if I've lost anything. I mean, I've done good. The only thing that, um, come on, come your hand. The only, over here, come on, this way. The only thing that, um, I done different was eating at homecoming, like all that sweet stuff. So, we'll see, guys. Come on, Isaiah, now right through here, you gotta keep up with me. You gotta, you gotta hold your head up, son. So, yeah, we're gonna walk down there to, uh, right eight and weigh myself and then after that we're gonna eat and then do a little bit more walking right Isaiah Come here. these dogs are like crazy so that's what we're doing and they're following us don't talk to them or they'll keep following us hun but anyways, it's a pretty day, huh? It's a pretty day out here today. Very cool feeling and all that good stuff. Come on, Isaiah. Come on, honey. Don't don't call them to follow us. We don't need them to follow us, hun. Because we need to find a sidewalk. Come on. Hold that stick up. Yeah, you got to be careful coming out through here. Uh at these people's houses because there's dogs and they're not, some of them are all chained up. They're dangerous guys. They're vicious. Hold down. Um, bad. Yeah, honey, keep, hold that stick up, son. Oh my heavens. Remember, there's some dogs right here, so be careful. I think they're pit bulls or bulldogs or something. I don't know. I don't know what they are. They're inside. Yesterday they were out. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, so, um, this son's, come here, there's another one. Isaiah, come here. Yeah, we're, I don't know about taking this route anymore. Hi, Fido. Hi, Keep Fido. the stick down away from it. He didn't bother us, he just kept going about his business. Hi, so he, he might be a stray dog. Come on, give me your hand. Or just keep up with me right there. So anyways, um, there's another, Lord have mercy, all these dogs are loose today. So, um. I have noticed this week, which I only walked yesterday, and then I've I've been walking last week too. But like, I've noticed like in like the back where my butt is, like you know, like your thighs and stuff, like they're getting a bit sore. So I'm hoping this walking stuff is gonna make me get a booty. That's what I'm hoping. I can lose this belly fat right here and get me a butt. That's what I want. Yeah, we'll see, guys. Isaiah, quit, dude. Great, he just splashed um, water on me from these this, um, grass out here. So this this is a little bit better because you're going up a hill instead of just walking straight. So that's what I like about this. There's some dogs and there's some people. So I may pause this here in a minute. Isaiah, come over here on this side. I don't need you beside the road, son. But yeah, I'm loving this weather. It's it's beautiful out here. Come on. And all these little dogs are out today enjoying this fresh air. So I'm going to pause this and then I'll get back at you. Okay. So, there was a cute little boy down there. He's probably about one year old and he was saying bye-bye. God love his heart. So yeah, I've, I'm really enjoying walking now. Like at first I didn't think I'd like to, but if you get out like right now, it's like 11 here. And if you get out this time of the day, it's pretty good. But speaking of that, on the way back, I'll probably put on the heat, but it's okay. But I'm loving it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I mean, I do feel as if I've lost a little bit. All but that. 
that's got to go. I'll probably do some sit-ups or something. Come on, Isaiah. But, I mean, like, within my stomach and stuff, I do feel like I've lost a little bit. So, we'll see. And I've been taking those um, pills for, um, supposed to, like, promote uh, weight loss. And then that stuff that Amy, a way girl, had uh, hauled a long time ago, that body de detox stuff. However, now, guys, this is the truth. She said that it like, cleaned her out really good. I've been on it for two days. It's not really, I mean, it had like, I know this is TMI, but you know, this is a weight loss thing. Um, it didn't really give me the, you know, diarrhea or nothing like that. That's TMI, I know, but serious, seriously, those of you that wanna do that, just letting y'all know. So maybe everybody's body's different. Yeah, yeah, leave that there. Or it could have been to where I've only done it for this is my second day, so we shall see. Hopefully, hopefully it won't do that to me and it'll just help me lose weight and just saying. But I figured I'd share that with you all and I haven't hauled it yet. I, I do have a Walmart haul that I need to go up and it'll be in that and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've been doing that. Isaiah, slow down, son. You're gonna fall. And um, I've still been, um, of course drinking like two things of green tea a day which i've got i've still been drinking that um dragon fruit i think green tea it's really good i drink that that's supposed to help promote like speed up your metabolism so i've done that still been drinking lots of water and um of course my coffee this girl's gotta have her coffee been drinking like two to three cups to the most sodas um at the homecoming i had a few drinks not like not not even a whole cup and then um a few sups of mountain dew yesterday and then the rest is just water and tea and stuff so hello other than that that's all that i've been drinking still still cutting out the coats and stuff and to beat it all like my stomach doesn't feel feel as bloated anymore so that coke is crap guys if y'all are on that stuff come off of it guys if, if this girl now this is no lie and you can ask my husband or my kids or anybody from a girl that used to drink now this is before i got on well back about four years ago isaiah slow down isaiah stop stop there don't go any further son so from a girl that used to be on a soda kick and and this is no lie i would drink no water isaiah stop right here a minute come on there's a road there stop but anyways, from a girl that would drink, um, you can play right there where the trees are until I get down here. From a girl that would drink, and this is no lie, five, anywhere from five Cokes to eight a day. No lie. No water, no juice, no nothing. And that was like maybe one cup of coffee back then. That was bad. I was putting on the weight. And if, if I can go from that to this, guys, y'all can too. And to be honest with you, at first it's hard. You get that detox crap and you get real shaky and dizzy. Do not get in that. That's nasty. That's mud. I told you. Yeah, don't, don't get in it. And Isaiah, right here, you're going to have to straighten up because there's highway right here. He's been, he's not wanting to cooperate today. He gets really excited. But anyway, so from a girl that went from that to this, guys, y'all can do it. I'm just saying. And I'll tell you this, Isaiah over here beside me now or we'll go back home now you need to stop um sorry i'm just worried about these to be uh cars here coming i gotta keep going on this side but anyways and i've done lost my train of thought but yeah i was losing or i was gaining weight and i felt bloated all the time of course after when i got off the coke kick a while back which i wasn't after when I went on that Nutrisystem diet, I never did drink a lot of Cokes after that because I'll tell you this, once you stop drinking the Cokes and then if you try to go back to them, the Coke's extra sweet and it's just not really good and it's gross, so yeah. Stay over here on this side, son. Right here. Come on, give me your hand. We then go straight across. 
but yeah like that's the main thing and since I've stopped drinking cokes and I have been like um, portioning out my food a little bit not like normally I would eat and then the kids would leave their food and I'd eat everything on their plates and I've got four kids me and my husband both would be guilty of doing this like I would eat hours plus I'll get seconds and then me and my husband would go back and eat their food that's God's honest truth I know you moms and dads out there grandparents whoever has done that before and it's not good because it will put the weight on you especially the macaroni and cheese that's that's the main thing that I'd go for so I've stopped doing that but now if if we were at a restaurant and they had food left over and we didn't want to take it home I would have to lie and say that I'd eat it because I, I don't like to be wasteful that's just how I roll so I probably have to be doing some extra walking now but I'm really wanting to get to 130 or 135 that's where I want so we're going to get it guys and I hope y'all will get it with me because you know we can help each other out he's cute but anyways and the sweets as oh my god as much as I love Reese cups like the the white chocolate ones OMG those are freaking divine and the Carmelos yeah and the Debbie cakes I've cut them out if I do have one no honey throw them down that's not a, that's not anything you can eat I don't know what that is it's not a pear but um if I do say that I, like if I do have one I will eat that and then maybe eat something smaller if I want a snack later on and not just keep eating Debbie cakes and keep eating them because that's what I used to do no lie but I mean me with this SVT and crap and having to take heart medicine and stuff come on I don't really need a whole lot of caffeine or cokes I know I drink coffee but if you think about it since I've cut out the cokes and only drink two to three cups of coffee a day that's no big deal over here now oh my lord this kid here's not wanting to listen to me today and he's never that way I know I know I don't have to tell you two times son but listen this is a road and you can get very bad hurt here you need to listen to me and stay on the side oh my heavens but yeah that's what we're doing and I know I've said that three times I'm, I'm lame but oh let's see here what do I want to talk about so I've been thinking a lot like um, this morning Gracie got up and that little girl God love her heart Katie has already been into like fixing her own hair and putting on a little bit of mascara and um, so Gracie got up she's Gracie's very bashful she don't like you to like if she looks real pretty and if you say oh you look real pretty she'll like it but if you go to an extent to where it's dramatic she don't like it and so I looked over at her this morning she had her hair sort of locked to the side like this and it was braided it looked so cute and she looked so big and I was like oh my god my kids are growing up and like I can just look at my kids eyes and see them and I feel so freaking blessed it's unbelievable I love my kids so much and I was thinking that this morning how blessed actually yesterday how blessed you know I am sometimes we complain in life which I'm guilty of that sometimes too we all do it but you know if you look on on everything else and forget about all of the negative stuff it will make your day much brighter and that's what I'm trying to start focusing on you know I've got four kids four beautiful kids that love me with all their hearts and my husband that loves me with all all of his heart you know I'm a blessed woman guys and I know a lot of you you women on here are blessed too so we need to be thankful and I try to sometimes that will just get your attention so much and it will pull at your heart and it's just like wow come on but like my babies lord have mercy they are my life and they make my day every day that like of course they get on my nerves they like everybody's kids get on their nerves from time to time but lord how mercy i love them and i'm just today when i seen gracie it just melted my heart of how 
beautiful my girls are and they're so kind and loving and I can see it when they're at church and with their friends and stuff. It's awesome and I'm thankful for it. Isaiah, we're going to go down here and weigh my stuff and then come back and eat and then we'll go to the pet shop, okay? So, well, we'll go over there and then we're going to go to the to Rite Aid, okay? So, in like two, if we go out to eat, or shoot, not eat, but like on Thursdays, Isaiah, Isaiah, you're my uh, Dollar Tree buddy on Thursday, aren't you? And we go out to eat and stuff and shop. Mm -hmm. So, on Thursday, whenever we go, like, honest to God, he, he thinks of his sisters and his brothers. Or his brother, his sisters and his brother. And it's so sweet and he's all the time thinking of others and you know and I'm I'm bragging on my kids, but I'm not being that to be snooty because, you know, I just mean that I'm proud of my kids and stuff, but like a lot of kids that nowadays are not like that. What? Okay, so I had to pause that for a minute because the daggum train was blowing and stuff. But anyways, what I was trying to say is a lot of kids these days don't have respect, and I will give it to my kids. Quit! Don't don't mess with that mailbox. Quit! Yes, that's where we're going. But a lot of a lot of kids nowadays don't have that, and I'm just thankful and blessed that mine do. So we're going in the pet shop over here. He's wanting to go back and make his detour. Day two. Isaiah, don't you grab that bird. You can just look at it because it might bite you. So anyways, we're going to go up in here and get it done, guys. Hello, we're making a run again. <laughs> don't, don't pet him. Hello. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty. Can you say hello? She was saying hello yesterday whenever we were leaving. She was like, hello. Can you say hello? Are you scared? Can you say hello? Hmm? Hello, pretty girl. She's like, whatever. You know what? I found out a nerdy house. Uh, I sit here, then. Oh, he said hello. Then, I, now you want to buy one of these. Yep. Did you hear him? He said hello. She said hello. One, two, three. Oh, that's, that's like what Austin has. Look. Yeah. I want that one. Do you know how much that is for no. two of them? $159.99. Ooh, looky. Look. He spotted. I'm gonna see if he'll say hello again. Yeah, don't don't mess with it. Can you say hello again? Hello, pretty girl. Hello. Can you say hello? Do you just say it when you want to? Do you just say hello when you want to? Yeah. Do you want me to leave you alone? Where are you at? There, 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 there's this crap. I want that. I want both of these. I want a lot. Yep, come on. He just said hello again. That's hilarious. She'll only say it when she wants to. I want that bear bear. Hello. Bye. Bye, pretty girl. Bye. Don't mess with her. Tell her bye. Say, see you bye. next time. Yep. See you later, hon. Like Bye. Nacho. Yeah, we'll see her next time, okay? Now listen, nacho. she'll... Oh, she said hello. Come here. Give me your hand. Over here. Honey. Probably not. Not right now. We don't. We, we have too many animals right now. Uh, I know. And, and Toby and Daisy. Yeah. 
Oh, no. Listen, we have chickens. We have Noble. We have Chloe. We have Daisy. The hamster that got loose. Yeah, we've got a hamster that got loose in our house and we can't find him. His name's Nemo. We have no idea where he went. Oh, and so like, whenever I was in there vlogging, like sometimes I feel like, like what do, like what do they think that I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? I was very awkward. And I like normally whenever he's in there, I'll pause it and then I'll go in there and like, you know, whenever he's like somewhere else, I'll vlog. But does anybody else do that? Maybe I'm just a worry wart. Come on, what? Not, not, not over here. We can't. Because I'm going in here to weigh myself and that's it. And then we're going to eat. Come on. There's the railroad tracks, guys. Okay, give me your hand now. We're going over here. Let's go. You'd like to ride one? Yep. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yep. So, I'm going to pause this and we're going here to ride eight. And when I get to the scales, I'll turn it back on. Okay, guys, here we go. So, let's get this going here. Welcome to the Higgy Station. Are, when were you born? How tall are you? Let's check your weight and body mass index. Sit in the middle of the seat. Place both feet on the bar below. Press begin to get started. Here are your results. Okay, guys. Try it I'm at again. 149. Mama. Mama, try it again. No. Okay. Let's let this calculate here. job. Here are your results. Want to track your Higgy score and stats? Click save results below. Okay, come on. Okay, old granny. I'm not no old granny. No, her. Come on. Uh, okay. Are you, you better not be calling her one either. No. <laughs> he, he's doing anything he can to get out of it, isn't he? <laughs> he calls me old granny all the time. <laughs> Oh my. Slow down, I say. Slow down. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Okay, that was very embarrassing. He called me a granny, and then when he knew that he was going to get in trouble, he called her no granny. Okay. Okay, so, guys, I'm having a brain fart, okay? I can't remember if I was at 155 or 150. I think I was at 155 because I lost six pounds. So, I don't know. Was I at 150? If that's the case, then I'll put back on. I'm going to have to go back. That's bad. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch how much I weighed before. Can't remember, guys. It's old age creeping up on me. Although I'm just 28, I'm still having brain farts, okay? Oh my God, I cannot remember. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Okay, come on. So anyways, if, if I was at 150, I've lost one pound. I don't seem right. And if I was at 155, I've lost, um, come on. Like six pounds think because I'm at 149 now who knows this is too complicated for me and I'm hungry come on now you gotta hold on to my hand right here so we're going to get us about to eat okay so we're at this diner now and it's called Annie's diner and it's like home cooking and here's Miss Isaiah Cohen say hi Show them your drink. Yeah, he's one of them rare forms today, guys. But anyways, I got water. 
That was like sliding low, guys. It's bad when you can't remember how much you weigh. Yeah. I guess that could be a good thing, though, right? So, I'm going to pause it, and then I'll get back to y'all when my food gets here, okay? Isaiah. Get it up. Get it up. Oh, you hot. Blow it. You have to blow it. Okay, this is what I got. Some chicken, okra, and rice. And then... This right mm -hmm. here is the bomb.com, okay? Just I got, saying. I got okra too. Okay. You can have some, mom. Um... No. Okay. So, I feel bad for stopping and eating because this is like a weight loss type thing. But you know, I'm hungry and I haven't ate today. So, until next time, I'm gonna get off here and eat and enjoy this while I can. So I can. Bye, guys.